Hola a todos y bienvenidos al podcast número 10. Y felicidades, congratulations, to making it to número 10, 10. Let's go over a few more keywords and make sure that you are repeating them after I say them and then um, trying your best to put some of the components together in Espanol. All right, if you want to say I can in Spanish, which hopefully you'll say a lot, it's puedo, puedo, P-U-E-D-O. And remember, the D in Spanish is very subtle. It's almost like when you say thank you and you see where your tongue come, goes with a T-H, puedo. You almost put your tongue in the same place, puedo. So how would you say I can understand? Puedo comprender. I can't would be no puedo, so I can't understand. No puedo comprender. Muy bien. How would you say I can speak a little now? Puedo hablar. Remember, second consecutive verb is put in the full form. Puedo hablar a little, un poco now, ahora. Or how would you say, I can't speak a lot now? No puedo hablar mucho ahora. How would you say, I can't drink Coca-Cola? I can't, no puedo drink or take, tomar, no puedo tomar Coca-Cola. How, how do you say, I can drink water? Puedo drink, same as take, tomar agua. Puedo tomar agua. If you want to say good in Spanish, it's bueno, bueno. Taco bueno, bueno. It, how would you say it's good for you? Es bueno para usted. Muy bien. To do or to make in Spanish is hacer. Hacer. H A C E R. H. The H is, is, is silent. Hacer. And to do it is hacerlo. Remember, lo is it. Hacerlo. To do it. So if you want to say, puedo hacerlo, I can do it. So everybody say that like you mean it. Puedo hacerlo. Now say, I can't do it. No puedo hacerlo. How would you say, you can do it? So you can is puede, and then do it, hacerlo, puede hacerlo. Right now we're tagging that low to the end of the second full verb, hacerlo. You could also put it at the beginning, lo puedo hacer, or no, puedo, no lo puedo hacer, I can't do it, or you can just tag it to the end. It's usually easier to tag it to the end because that follows the structure of English. Puedo hacerlo. You can do it. Puede hacerlo. He can do it. Same. Puede hacerlo. You could put él puede hacerlo. She can do it. Puede hacerlo. Ella puede hacerlo. I want to do it. I want, remember, is qui quiero hacerlo. I need to do it. Necesito hacerlo. How would you say, but I don't have the time. You remember but, pero, no tengo, and time is el tiempo, el tiempo, pero no tengo el tiempo. So make that a question, can you? So again, questions in Spanish, you don't, all you do is you go up with your, with the inflection. So puede, puede hacerlo para mí, can you do it for me? Puede hacerlo para mí? When is in Spanish? we may have already had, is cuando, cuando, is when. So, how would you say, when can you do it for me? When, cuando, can you, cuando puede do it, hacerlo for me, para mí. Cuando puede hacerlo para mí. If you want to simply say, when is it, is it, is, es, cuando es, cuando es, is it now, Esa hora, esa hora. 
to see in Spanish is ver, ver, V-E-R, ver is to see. So how would you say, can you see something? Puede ver algo. I want to say to see it, it would be verlo, verlo. So how would you say, can you see it? Puede verlo. Muy bien. So to see it is verlo. To see me is verme. You just tag the me at the end. Verme. And it's actually written in as in one word. So how would you say, can you see me? Puede verme. When can you see me? When? Cu cuando? Can you? Puede verme. Cuando puede verme. Remember the expression, le dice a él? Jennifer Lopez, le dice a él? So she says to him. That dice means says or tell. The full form of the verb is decir. D-E-C-I-R. De decir, meaning to say or to tell. So if, you, if I say, quiero decir algo en español, what would that mean? Quiero decir algo in Espanol. Si, sí, I want to say something in Spanish. If you want to say, I want to say it in Spanish, quiero decirlo in Espanol. Quiero decirlo. I want to say it. I need to say it in Spanish. I need. Necesito. I need to say it. Necesito decirlo in Espanol. So, decirlo is to say or to tell it. If you want to say to say or to tell him or her, it's decirle. Decirle with an L-E at the end. Decirle. So, I want to tell her something in Spanish or to tell him. Quiero decirle algo en español. How would you say I need to tell you something in Spanish? So, to... To tell him, to tell her, to tell you are all the same thing. Decirle. Necesito decirle algo en español. How would you say, but I cannot tell you now. But I cannot. Pero no puedo decirle ahora. Muy bien. So we had to say it. Decirlo. To say to him or to her. Decirle. And then to say or to tell me is decirme. So what would cuando puede decirme mean in English? When can you tell me? Later in Spanish is literally more late. Mas tarde. Tarde. T-A-R-D-E. -E. Think of like the tardy bell. Tells you it's late. you're late. Mas tarde. I can tell you later. So I can. Puedo tell you. Decirle. Más tarde. Puedo decirle más tarde. If you want to say I'm going, I'm going in Spanish is voy. Voy. V O Y. Voy. 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 It said really fast. Voy. So I'm going later is voy más tarde. So if I say voy más tarde a la fiesta de mi amiga. Voy más tarde. I'm going later. A la fiesta. You might have heard that before. Fiesta, Texas. To the party. A la fiesta de mi amiga. I'm going later to the party of my friend, to my friend's party. Voy más tarde a la fiesta de mi amiga. Usually with voy, you're usually going to something, right? So it's voy a, voy a. And it's two words, V-O-Y-A, but it's said as one, voy a, voy a. So, voy a la fiesta. Voy a la fiesta. I'm going to the party. How would you say, I'm going to tell you later? Voy a decirle later. Más tarde. How would you say, I'm going to speak more Spanish? So, you can just throw out the voy a. I'm going to. Voy a. And then figure out the verb to speak. Voy a hablar. Más español. I'm going to speak more Spanish. I'm going to eat now. Voy a comer ahora. I'm going to understand it. Voy a comprenderlo. Voy a comprenderlo. Muy bien. To give in Spanish is dar. Dar. D-A-R. 
So if you want to say, I'm going to give 14 burritos to Peter. Voy a dar 14 burritos a Peter. To give, dar. To give it, then would be, si, darlo. I'm going to give it. Voy a darlo. Voy a darlo. I'm going to give it. And then to give to, to you or him, to give you, him, or her. Voy a darle, darle. Voy a. I'm going to give you something elegant. Voy a darle algo elegante. Muy bien. All right, excelente. So those were a few new, lots of verbs in that one. Let's go back and make sure that, that we've got them all. I'll say them in English. How about I'll, I'll say it in Spanish and tell me what it is in English. Puedo. I can. No puedo. I can't. Bueno. Good. Hacer. To do or to make. Hacerlo. To do it or to, to make it. El tiempo. The time. Cuando. When. Ver. To see. Verlo. To see it. Verme. To see me. Decir. To say or to tell. Decirlo. To say or to tell it. Decirle. To say or to tell him or her. Decirme. To say or to tell me. Más tarde. Means more later, later. Voy. I'm going. And then voy ya. I usually hear it. Voy ya. I'm going to. La fiesta. The party. Dar. To give. Darlo. To give it. Darle. To give you or him or her. Muy bien, y eso es el fin del podcast número 10. Muchas gracias por su atención. Hasta luego.